Tom, we're doing something different today. What we is it? We are indeed. Uh, we are going to be shooting a tutorial today. The others are away, so we thought we would help you out with a bit of technique. It's going to be aimed for the very um, kind of beginner climber, someone who's only been climbing a couple of weeks, maybe. Um, but yeah, maybe there'll be something in here for everybody. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We're going to be doing a few videos in a row, so hopefully we'll be covering all the techniques. Yeah. Sweet, let's get started. All, all of the techniques. When we're climbing, um, particularly slab climbing, um, you always want to be standing on the on the front area, the, the toe box of your shoe, and um, this is going to give you a lot more maneuverability. Um, yeah, the sides of your shoes aren't actually designed for standing on. You can see that these are kind of um, where it arches in. Here, if you look at the profile, this area here and, and this area on the other side, it's not really designed for standing on. It's it's this whole area here that's it's going to be doing the real the work, uh -huh. which is why the shoes are so tight um, to really force your toes all together to make them much stronger. Oh yeah, I thought it was to make it more delicate and dainty. Yeah, delicate, dainty, but powerful. But powerful, powerful. Like I was saying, we always want to be standing on our toes, um, and I'm about to demonstrate why that is. Um, so whilst we're climbing our slab, we want our weight above our feet, and we're really just using our hands to balance whilst um, whilst pushing up with our feet. We're standing on the fronts of our toes because. If we stand on the sides of our feet, that will just lock us into position, that will give us no, no movement in the, the top part of our body. But if we're on our toes, we can move in kind of any direction that we like. Alright, sweet. So now we know that we need to be standing on our toes and not the sides of our feet. Um, something else um, that is really important is to be super duper conscious whilst you're placing your feet. I see a lot of people just kind of slapping their feet on any which way. Always look at the foothold before you place your foot. It kind of sounds obvious, but a lot of people don't. So. Look before you place, and also try and place it kind of gently and carefully. Don't just throw your foot on there. Yeah. Wise words. Wise words. Another thing, it's always easier to make smaller steps than big steps. I see a lot of people in, life in, in, in life and in climbing, <laughs> always little steps. So um, if you've got a bad foothold before a good foothold, make a small step on the bad foothold, and step up onto the better foothold. Then just chuck your foot really high up onto you know the best looking foothold and stand up on that, because that's going to be a lot, a lot less efficient. <laughs> I can't make the sound. Right, so if I'm standing with my feet, um, my knees facing straight into the wall, it's kind of pushing my hips out a little bit. My bum's kind of coming out further. I'm having to put a lot more force on my hands. But if I'm standing on either the inside or the outside edges of my toes, like this, that's kind of going to bring my body much closer in. Ah, Does you that don't make need sense? Your hands, yeah. Don't need my hands. If I'm standing right on my toes, my bum's coming out, I'm falling off. Um, so even though we're standing, we're still standing on the, this front area, but we're using the, this edge or this edge, not necessarily right the very end of the shoe. Um, we've done quite a lot of um, standing on kind of edges and small footholds. Um, now we're going to talk about kind of standing on like bigger, slopier footholds. We're going to talk about standing on volumes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So this is a really easy place to show that off. This is a huge volume. Nice. So. When you're standing on a volume, I'll explain it whilst I'm on the ground, you want your toe, the front of your toe, the top of your toe, facing up the volume, okay? Um, I, will, I will demonstrate. Um, yeah, so you can see my both my feet are facing towards um, the highest point of the volume, and this means I'm getting that entire toe area of my shoe um, onto the volume. If I was placing my foot um, side on, although I might be getting more rubber down, my weight's gonna roll across my foot, um, and my foot's just gonna slip off. Um, the same goes for trying to stand on the edge of the volume on the inside of your foot. I see a lot of people trying to do that. That's not going to do you a lot of favors either. So yeah, always try and have your toes facing up the volume if you can. Cool, so as well as pointing our toe to the top of the volume, we also want to be putting um, pressure through our feet. So the rubber's not going to stick unless there's actually pressure going through our feet. So if we're kind of pulling in a lot in our arms or having our hands too high up, that's going to lift weight off our feet and it's not going to, you know, we're not going to get that friction. So try and push through to kind of the balls of your the balls of your feet, is that the right, is that the right point? Where's the ball of your foot? Yes, you're right. Is the ball of your foot here? Yeah. 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 So like pushing through the balls of your feet to get, <laughs> that sounds so wrong now. <laughs> yeah, I know. To, my feet to get, to get your whole toe onto the, onto the volume. Um, I mean, but like if you're, if you're just standing on it without any handholds, that's fine. But if you're really reaching up off a volume, then um, you're more likely to slip. So you kind of, you're not necessarily bending your knees. You're just making sure you've got pressure going down through your feet. Awesome. So yeah, one thing we haven't talked about yet is foot swaps uh, or matching feet. So matching is when you have either both hands or both feet on the same foothold. The reason why you want to do this with your feet is because you might need to 
basically step through. So you need to bring your left foot to your right foot and then move your right foot out or vice versa. My hips are turning away from the wall. My body wants to turn yeah. off the wall. Yeah, so. you'll, you'll start to bond or if you do that. Yeah. So yeah, you want, you want to be facing straight into the wall as you foot swap. Um, but that's yeah. one of the main reasons for the foot swap. Yeah. You don't end up bond or so if you've got a nice big foothold, you can just um, shuffle one of your feet further across and if you're standing on your toes, you could probably just twist it out of the way and then you can bring the other foot next to it and step up. If the foot is slightly smaller, um, you just hover one foot over the other and then pull the bottom foot out. Tom, that was a weird video to film, eh? That was a weird video for sure. I no mean, idea how that's going to turn out. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do I want to say on my outro? I mean, you can take our advice with a pinch of salt. Tom's been climbing for a long time, but you know, don't go out trying to scale El Cap using our video as a guide. As your only guide. As your only guide, yeah. Some of it might. Yeah, just remember to, to place your feet carefully and try and put into practice some of the stuff we said. But yeah, like I say, you know, I'm not like a footwork coach or anything like that, if those things even exist. <laughs> just but yeah, I have been climbing 11 years, so hopefully I do know a couple of things. So yeah, these things will probably help you get to the top sometimes. But, you know, rules are made to be broken. Uh, yeah. Just be efficient. Yeah, sometimes you might need to, you know, and if you have the arms the size of two human children, I mean, just use those. You, might, yeah, you don't so, need your legs. So. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's all subjective. It's all subjective. Who needs feet? Who needs <laughs> Who feet needs if you feet? go to the gym six times a week? Oh, and yeah, yeah, also, if you have anything that we kind of missed that you think is super useful, um, leave it in the, in the comments. Um, yeah. Cool. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Subscribe and stuff cool. or something. I don't Sweet. know. Sweet. Bye.